The Great Wall is directed by Yamao Zing and stars Matt Damon, Tian Jing, and Willem Dafoe, and is about two mercenaries who travel to the Great Wall of China and end up being held captive and are mixed up in this huge war with these monsters. Now, going into this movie, you know, I was just like... It felt mad to me. Like, I didn't really care. I was just gonna check it out since it's a big blockbuster coming out. It was doing incredibly well overseas in China. I mean, like, that's no surprise. And I wanted to review it for you guys. So I checked it out, and yeah, it's, just, it's pretty meh. It has a super basic story. The action is fine. The acting is really meh. The characters aren't good. And it's super boring. I checked my watch many times during this movie, and it's only an hour and 45 minutes, but feels like a good 2 hours and 15, which isn't a good thing. The characters are super bland. Matt Damon, which by the way, pulls off a really weird European accent that doesn't work at all, is just your average white guy, and he comes and he kicks some ass. And also, Willem Dafoe does absolutely nothing for this story. The only person was Tian Jing. She was alright. Her character was pretty cliche. But she was fine. I didn't mind her. So, Yamao Zing, which by the way, I apologize if I'm not saying his name correctly. His directing feels very un-American, because obviously he's Chinese. And it feels like that. It doesn't feel like a 2017 blockbuster. Is that a good thing? Not really. It just, it feels kind of boring and unoriginal, which is too bad. The action uses a lot of 3D gimmicks. I mean, this movie's in 3D, and the 3D wasn't bad, but I mean, there's scenes where Matt Damon shoots a bow and arrow, and the arrow, like, flies by you in, like, slow motion, and you get to see this, like, all rendered CG arrow, and it's, it just looks stupid. By the way, the action was fine. It's probably the best part about this movie. But there's no shaky cam, and it's easy to tell what's happening. The first war sequence was very cool. It was interesting, it was unique, and they didn't really add anything more to that after on, and there's a few more big significant action scenes that do the exact same thing, but the first one's really cool. Now the monsters have an intriguing design, but the only thing holding them back is this pretty lackluster CGI. I mean, the monsters don't look good. That being said, there's a lot of things with cannons in these fireballs, and that looked pretty good. So you get a kind of 50-50 with the CGI. So yeah, there's nothing really more to the Great Wall. To be honest, I'm gonna forget about this crap in a day or two. I'd give the Great Wall a 4 out of 10. I'm going to the Canadian premiere of Before I Fall at TIFF. So I will definitely be talking about that one. So guys, I hope you liked my review. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.